Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Ernie with Learning Construction Little Work again, and uh, I would like to show you something that was pretty neat that we just did in one of our uh, projects. And uh, this is a uh, pretty basic light control system um, that we work on here on this project. And what this uh, system does is controls the uh, lights, as the, na as the name says, uh, it controls the lights on the inside and the outside of the building. And I want to show you this video because this is an application that could be very simple to do on your house, of course, if you were doing new construction. So it would be a pretty good idea if you were building your house or you're doing a new project and you wanted to have the house control either remotely or by a timer um, by itself. If you guys are pretty involved with construction, you'll know that nowadays Title 24 is very big. So having the lights to be turned off or to be turned on by themselves is a very important item, especially in commercial buildings. So uh, this control over here allows us to do that and also allows us to program inexpensively the lights and turn on and off during different seasons, different times. Uh, it even includes the uh, the, uh, the uh, time zone and also they, they, they like savings time so it's a pretty good system so anyhow let's get started on this box over here we will have obviously the grounding and the power to uh, the, the neutral for all the, the lines that come in and out over here um, in the solenoid over here what you have is the line in going from the breaker and the, the, the solenoid is controlled by the timer that we have over here. So as you can see over here, as you can see over here if I get my fingers out of the way, you can see how the power goes in and then it goes out on the blue line and the blue line goes over here into the solenoid and that will power up our solenoid for these lights. So once you have this connected, every time the solenoid gets turned on by this pretty simple timer that you can get anywhere, it'll send the power straight into the wires that you already have for the lines on the lights. So in this building what we did is we basically separated the interior lights, for example the lower level lights, uh, bathrooms, and we also separated the main level and the exterior lights. And with each one of them receive a uh, timer, as you can see over here, interior lights and exterior lights, and the time clocks were labeled um, to go inside of the solenoids so that are controlled over here. So it's a, it's a pretty basic system, it's really simple. All the parts are pretty much off the shelf, and you can find them on the website as well. I'll list the part numbers in case, if you guys want to build this exact box, I'll have all the part numbers in them. I'm also going to post them on the, on, on the video so you can see them. What you have over here is a override switch. And what the override switch does is it basically is a direct line that goes to the solenoid. So for example, if you were on your house and you program your exterior lights in the backyard to turn on at, you know, let's say, 8 o'clock to whatever time. But then one of the nights you decide to have a barbecue, you don't want the lights turning off on you. So what you do is you come back over here and you turn your override switch. And if you hear that, that was your solenoid turning on. So I hope this video helped, guys. Uh, once again, this is certainly with learningconstruction.org. And uh, for more questions or videos, go to our website. Thank you.